going to be the new TV studio. Right now, this is the back part of the library, and in a short time, it's going to be transformed into our brand new Burlington Township High School television studio. So get ready, y'all. It's coming. Coming soon to you. BTHS TV Production One with yours truly, Mr. Marshall, along with Mr. Gemento, and many other great people who will be responsible for this brand new project here at the school. I want to thank the Burlington Township School District, Mr. Brownridge, and everybody for helping us get this fantastic project together here in Burlington Township. Well, the TV media production program is something that the, uh, the school was interested in doing, a program um, to give students a chance for real-world 21st century opportunities to work in radio, television, and film to learn all aspects of uh, the media and production. Um, this gives the students an opportunity to learn and to work in front of the camera, behind the camera. Um, they do production, pre-production, post-production. They're learning Final Cut editing. Uh, learning how to work with the lights and the sound and uh, how to frame up the shots as far as the camera work is concerned. Anything that you would learn out in a television studio or even the prairie for radio or just media in general is what we're teaching in TV and media production today. When I came back to the school here, I ran into Mr. Marshall, awesome person. Uh, we started discussing things during class about you know music and video and stuff and somehow we figured out we both like the same thing, which is amazing. We started talking more about classes and stuff like that, and he went to school for it. So I said, you know, if you start a class, that'd be awesome. And here we are today. Uh, the benefits of a TV production class are, are numerous for a high school like this. Uh, number one, it provides an opportunity for active learning for students. Uh, I truly believe that students want to be a part of the learning process and not t spoken to. Uh, so allowing them to be active, engaged, uh, moving while they're learning is really exciting. Uh, it also provides an opportunity for students to work with 21st century technology. Uh, this is technology that they'll be exposed to uh, in their workforce and in college. So allowing them the opportunity to get familiar with that equipment now is imperative. And lastly, this class really offers a chance for us to showcase uh, to the community uh, some of the great things that are happening here uh, through athletics, through art, art through the academic programs that we offer, and by providing this forum, uh, everyone becomes more familiar with the accomplishments of our students and staff. When I dream, I dream big, um, and I see big things happening in this district. Uh, Mr. Marshall has gone out on um, visitations with me, and we've seen what some of these other schools have. Um, I see us taking this to the next level where you know, we're running um, more shows, where we have a, a constant stream of information going out, where we're going out to our uh, games and we're televising what our teams are doing. Um, the sky's the limit with this, and as technology expands, I see this program expanding because um, as we move forward as a community as a whole, in terms of the resources that we have, we'll be able to get more information out there and use this as one of the means to do so. Well, the TV broadcast production class um, has been beneficial to the athletic department in that I can bring athletes into uh, this wonderful studio and they can be interviewed, uh, they can be promoted onto my website, up to my YouTube channel, and uh, it allows us to learn a lot about TV production and producing. Um, also, the kids that come in, they also get a glimpse as to, especially the ones that are going to be going into, you know, college athletics, when they're going to be interviewed, um, you know, from, you know, news, you know, news organizations and newspapers, they get a glimpse as to what it feels like to be interviewed and, and to be, you know, on the spot and to interview uh, appropriately. Well, for uh, TV One, uh, we have a variety of projects. Um, one of the first ones that's really hands-on is called Calling the Shots, in which students um, walk throughout the school and they take different types of shots uh, using a handheld camera. 
Um, we also have students create a PSA, which is a public service announcement. Um, and then uh, one of our final projects is to create a commercial, and that's done in conjunction with uh, Ms. Einhorn's marketing class. Okay. I think one of the most important things that we do uh, with journalism is um, have our students consider their audience. Um, when you're asking questions like you're doing right now, it's not only important to uh, figure out questions uh, pertaining to the subject, but um, who's going to be viewing this? What do they want to know? Um, what's important uh, for them to know? And also a little bit of the ethics involved. Um, what information should we also keep from, from the public? Um, and what should we, we divulge? So I think that's important um, in a TV class. Believe it or not, before I started this program, I didn't know anything about Final Cut. I didn't know how to edit any videos, and like now I am now like basically a pro at Final Cut. So that's what I learned. Well, basically in this class, like Angel said, I didn't know anything. And then I came in, and like I basically learned acting skills. I learned how to edit stuff and like add music and all of that. And like I never thought that I would be able to learn how like people who make movies do those things. Well, I have to say that when I first came like to this class, like I was pretty interesting because like it was like a brand new thing for me. I got to work with cameras and like uh, different people in the class to learn how to do different things. But like it was like a really interesting class to take. My favorite project has to be the PSA. Like I loved editing it. I loved the acting part. It was my favorite PSA. Also, my favorite project was the PSA because I worked with Angel and I got to like show my acting skills and like that was pretty fun because I never knew that I could do that. Well, my favorite project uh, I had to say is the one I'm working on currently. It's for uh, the class. It's a documentary and like we're doing a lot of editing, different stuff. We're mixing up audio, videos and like we're getting into it and like I'm really excited to like put it out there for like the whole school to see.